Switzerland is no doubt the heaven on earth. Switzerland is well known throughout the world for its picturesque landscapes. You can see a little piece of history and a little bit of the beauty of nature everywhere you look. Switzerland is known for having beautiful scenery in abundance. Therefore, it isn't easy to choose which places we absolutely must visit. Am I right? Okay. Do you want to know about the places you must visit in Switzerland? Switzerland is a year-round travel destination, so visiting it all would require numerous trips. Here, though, is our pick of the best five sites to visit in Switzerland, assuming you don't have a decade to travel the whole nation. So, let's start the video. But before that, please subscribe to the channel for more exciting videos. Number 5. Zurich The largest city in Switzerland is stunning. At once old and new, sophisticated and artistic, the Lamont River divides Zurich, which Lake Zurich encircles. Imagine the mesmerizing view. Zurich is home to some of Switzerland's top museums and Bahnhofstrasse, which is appropriately referred to as the world's most valuable shopping strip. Well, if you ever visit, spend most of your time in the Elstadt, often known as the Old Town, and try to eat at least one traditional meal at a restaurant inside a former guild hall from the Middle Ages. You will enjoy it. This is where many tours of Switzerland begin or end, because of the city's flawless connections to the rest of the nation and Europe via the incredibly effective Swiss rail system. Number 4. Lucerne On the top four, we have the most beautiful place, Lucerne. Imagine a mountainous area enclosing a brilliant blue lake, a historic old town devoid of automobiles, covered crossings, waterfront promenades, frescoed old structures, and sun-drenched plazas with bubbling fountains. It makes sense why Lucerne is a popular tourist attraction. Like so many other Swiss cities, beautiful, walkable Lucerne is situated in a stunning environment. This time on Lake Lucerne with the mountains in the background. Just imagine the scenery. One of Switzerland's most popular tourist attractions is the wooden chapel bridge from the 14th century, and Lucerne's medieval Astalt, Old Town, retains much of its original appearance. The most famous museum, the Cutting Edge Swiss Museum of Transport, is also located in Lucerne. Number 3. Swiss National Park Swiss National Park is the best place for nature lovers. Yes, we realize it's shocking, but we guarantee it's a good surprise. There is only one national park in Switzerland. The 172 square kilometer Swiss National Park in the mountains is in overdrive. An environment spectacle of high plains, forests, wildflower-flecked grasslands, waterfalls, jewel-colored lakes, and mountain ranges as high as the clouds, where ibex, camoys, deer, and golden eagles wander and fly free. Isn't it a fairy tale scenario? The park is tucked away in a remote area of the country southeast, near the border with Italy. Here, wildlife is in charge and human involvement is kept to a minimum for conservation. Some have referred to it as Canada in miniature which we can understand their logic. Why do you want to picture yourself somewhere else if you're already living in a fairy tale? Number 2. Interlaken One of Switzerland's most well-liked summer vacation destinations is Interlaken, which is tucked between Lake Thun to the west and Lake Brienz to the east. Switzerland is undoubtedly a gorgeous country, but this location is truly magical. Around the Hoheweg, the major road with breathtaking mountain views, are flower beds, restaurants, and cafes. The peaks of Eiger, Monch, and Jungfrau, which loom above the town, offer fantastic options for mountain adventures. The main activities include climbing, hiking, abseiling, and paddling. Number 1. The Rhine Falls the Rhine Falls in Schaffhausen is the most significant in Central Europe, extending 150 meters. It is specifically situated halfway between the cantons of Schaffhausen and Zurich. The most famous sites of the falls are available to visitors through boat rides. There are also viewing areas where you can stand without having to board a boat. These viewing platforms, which extend rather near to the water, have been constructed on both sides of the falls. A visit is worthwhile if you have already planned to visit this fantastic location, which is lovely. If not, I strongly advise that you do so. I guarantee you'll think you're part of a fantastical universe. Due to the high water levels, May and June are the best months to see the falls. This is it for today's video. Visit these locations if you want to have a fantastic time. Do you know more beautiful destinations in Switzerland? Share it in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, District 10 TV, before you leave. Until the next video, bye!